In this video, I'll explain how to make custom maps with the Apex Legends mod R5 Reloaded. You can use this tool to make maps for different game modes, such as Team Deathmatch or Surf. You can even make custom maps for just playing single player. To start making maps, you'll need two programs, both of which will be linked in the description below. First, you'll need the scripts for the level editor. These let you actually place and uh, edit props in the game. Second, you'll need the R5 edit tool, which is used to save and load these props. Both of these you can download from GitHub, and to do that you press the green code button and then download zip. And then we'll paste that in. It'll take a bit because there's a lot of files. Okay, so now we've installed the editor. Now we can actually use this. We can go into the game and use it. So to do that, we'll go back to the main R5R folder, go to r5reloaded.exe, press 1 for debug, and then launch it. From here, you'll want to make a server so you can play and actually use the script. Before you do that though, you'll want to open up the console. This is very important because when you place a prop, the information will go to the console. And if you want to save it, you'll need to have it open so that things can actually use the console. Now we'll just make a server really quickly on survival dev. You can use either King's Canyon Season 0, World's Edge Season 3, or the King's Canyon Firing Range. The other maps don't work, uh, yet. We're working on it. Now that we're in game, we can start using the map editor. To equip it, you'll need to go to the dev menu, go to editor, and then click on start editing. And then after that, it'll be equipped to your tactical, so you'll press Q, or whatever that button is for you. So you see, you have this, you can left click to place things down, you can right click to change the model you want to use, and then you can press different buttons to raise and lower it. For these, you'll need to set custom keybinds. Uh, there are instructions in the map editor GitHub on how to do this. And then to delete a prop, you can press B or your toggle fire mode button and click on a prop and it will delete it. Now, if you open the console, you'll see a bunch of lines that start with editor. This is because whenever you place a prop, it will print something out to the console. If we want to save this, we'll go to options and then copy. Now that we have copied the log, we'll go to R5 edit, we'll go to source, and we'll right click, hit new, and make a new text document. In here, we'll just call this map1. We'll open it up, and in this, we'll paste the log. And then it's also very important to hit save. We can then minimize this, and now we'll need to actually run the command. We'll launch a terminal, and run the Python command, python3 main.py, map1, to say that we're specifying map1.txt, and then the output file, which will be map1.nut. We hit enter, we see that it's a success. Now we have map1.nut. We'll open this up in something like notepad++ or notepad, and we'll see we have this entire function here to spawn the editor props. We can now copy this and use it in the map file we want to use. Now to use this, we'll go back to our R5 Reloaded folder, go to Platform, Scripts, Vscripts, MP, Levels. And in this case, I'm going to Canyonlands Common because I'm on King's Canyon. I'll hit Edit with Notepad++, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and we'll see that there's a little stub of code here. We'll replace this function, the spawn editor props, with the one that we copied from the generated code. We'll then hit save here, and this will save our code. Now we can go back to Apex, and hit, if we hit change level, this will reload all of our scripts and load our map back in. So now we see the map that we just made. In this case, it's just a couple of props, but you can make much more complicated things than this. If we want to, we can also continue editing. If we equip the editor tool again, we can start editing, placing more props, and we can also save these following the same method. If we want to, we can also delete existing props. The tool also supports ziplines. If we go to the dev menu, up to editor, and then zipline, we can equip a zipline. This can go much farther than the regular zipline and has an instant regeneration. You can do this to place down zip lines across the map. Combat's too noisy. Shush now. And we can do the exact same thing as before to save these. We'll go to options, 
copy, paste this into a folder, run the program on that, and then we can load in the map again. I'll do that real quick. So again, we can process it, copy the output, and paste it into the map file. Now when we go back over to Apex and hit change level to reload the scripts, we'll see that we have a new map with the zip lines that we just placed down. And look at that. Zip lines across the map. Once again, all the links to the code are in the description of this video. If you have any questions, leave a comment on this video or reach out to me on the R5 Reloaded Discord server. If you run into any bugs, definitely let me know and make an issue on the GitHub, and I'll fix them as soon as I can. If you have any additions you'd like to make to it, you can make a pull request on the GitHub as well. Thanks for watching!